Welcome to another episode of Poker Time. It's 5, 10, 20. Final episode of this session. We will have another session next week. That is Korean Mike straddling the button, and he has been on a hita. Yeah, those are all black chips in front of him, a lot of them, in those piles and piles. It's the forefront of his stack there. He's got something like $9,000 in front of him when the max buy-in was, what, 2500 or something. Yeah. So... Really, really just had it at all the right times. Dutch. They never are great Dutch. And of course, we're going to start with Cremio because of the straddle. Hear about the Dutch tulips? Yeah. I think it was 100, 150 years ago. Tulips were all the rage, getting all popular. So they hit a bunch of them like they do with diamonds. They like sort them and they just totally just wrecked the market. The price of tulips went crazy. Mm -hmm. There was no storage. Cool. Sean probably, probably knows the story. Sean really knows this kind of shit. He probably knows actually exactly the story. The Dutch tulip thing. Okay, so five players. Clubs would be bad for Danny, but no problem. It's ace, ten, six. Ten for wheel is the best hand. Yep, Danny, of course, also has a ten. And that's eight, all that's going eight, on. Eight, nine for Ken. For yeah, Jeff. okay. Danny's going to bet his ten. So like does have the back drawn up flush draw and a back draw straight draw. Well, that's a bit ambitious, but I guess you could decide to do something with that. Danny Wheel could just fold here with a bunch of players in the hand. It's totally reasonable. I think he should fold. I think it's a good fold for sure. Let's see what Cremio does. Yeah, Cremio lets it go too. It's already $100. It's just going to get more expensive. I think it's a perfectly fine fold as well. Ken calls, takes a shot. There's what a deal for Danny that he gets Wheel out of there and, and, Ken, and Ken to call. Yep. Not that they should have done other things. I think that's actually the probably the correct play for each player, but it works out great for Danny's hand. Danny bets 100 again. Very interesting to bet 100 again here. I think he's planning on checking back the river in case he's outkicked. Yeah, yeah I think he's... Uh, Ken makes an 8. Sure. Sure. Okay. Ken checks it here, and Danny's going to be very happy to see that he does win. Oh, thanks. Because he sure didn't have to. Nope. Yeah, he was sort of block betting with that $100 turn bet. Yeah. Kind of like the free showdown play. Yep. I bet small now. If I can easily fold to a raise. If he calls, I don't have to worry about calling a weird amount on the river. I can't get bluffed as easily. And there you go. That's the move. And that's how you become Danny. Yes, the dynamic. Become the dynamic. That is a good book. Become the dynamic? Yeah. Nope, it is a good my... book. Title. By the Molecule. Written by the Molecule. <laughs> That's, of course, Dan Ross. Yeah. There he is. Moleculing it up. <laughs> He's been trying to become the dynamic, but it's been a rough one for him. Yeah, this has been rough. Although I think it's been a bit of a rough one for the dynamic as well. Yeah, I mean, he lost that monster pot to Korean Mike. So you don't want to have a nickname right now, is basically the deal. <laughs> Although, how's Ken doing? Because he's Destroyer of Worlds. He's been... I think, I he's, think he's floating along. I think he's doing okay. Oh, Danny with the four deuce. He plays this so aggressively pre-flop. Mike doesn't really have a nickname except for Korean Mike. That is a nickname, though. And More he's, hearts. He's been crushing it. Cremio is actually a nickname. How's he been doing? Um, I don't know. I think badly, but I'm not sure. Anyway, he puts in the three bet. Let's see how Danny plays the four deuce. He's been so aggressive. And he loves the four deuce. That's his hand to be aggressive with, along yeah, with exactly. six four. And he does put in the four bet. Yep, look at that. This is the problem with three betting eights against a guy like Danny. $950, and now you just have to throw your eights away. I mean, I think, right? I mean, you could just believe that Danny's going wacko this whole session and, and go with it. It's a lot of a lot of money to put in with eights. Look at we all pretend to care about this. I know. Like, come on. You're obviously full. We shall call him the jester. Yeah. And Karima, just this hand just isn't good enough. It's just not. You're right. He wants to do something, though, and he's got the right instincts about it. It would work. The move-in would work, but he just lets it go, and Danny shows, of course. I, I think I saw a little bit of... There it is. There it is. Premio's face there. He takes it pretty well. Uh, he's like, I could have just called with my pocket eights. and. Shower on Mike. 
Do you know the, Do you know the story behind why Korean Mike is Korean Mike? I do. It's a pretty good story. Yep. Have we told it on the show before? Nope. Why don't you tell it? All right. I heard it from Mike himself. Yep. Uh, he was in a game. Mm. He no was it. recognized by somebody who he didn't really know. And he's like, who, this is right so far, right? Nope. But go ahead. Oh, well, tell, what's tell your, what's your initial version? He was in a game and there was a guy who was very drunk. Yeah, yeah. And seemed to recognize him. No, right? they were just all playing the game okay. for a while. They, they didn't know him. All right. And he asked Mike if he was <laughs> Korean. Well, he said, he said, he, yeah, he's like, what's your name? He's like, Mike. He's like, you're Korean? <laughs> Yeah, yeah that, that's what it is. And yeah. everyone at the table burst out laughing. Yeah, and from then on, he was Korean Mike. Because he's very clearly not Korean. It seems unlikely that he's Korean cool. based on what he looks like. <laughs> I mean, anything's possible, I guess. But. Yeah. Cool. All right, we're going to go four ways here. Two queen 10 suited, a 10 9 suited, and two sevens. Two sevens, it's almost hard for it to be in this good of a spot in a four way pot. Fair enough. And it does bear out that the sevens are still ahead, although it's hard to know that. We'll see if anyone wants to take a shot, though. Four ways. I don't know if anyone's going to fire. And someone's going to fire. This is probably going to work. I don't see how anyone can call. Ken has two back doors. He could decide to call. With two guys behind him? He chooses not to. Sometimes he does call in those spots, for Danny sure. Danny technically has two back doors also. Let's yeah, but... Go. And wheel while he has sevens. I mean, he's getting three to one. He blocks the open ender. It's not a good hand to call with. Sure isn't. And he's uh, he's he does call, call anyway. It's correct so far. Three of diamonds on the turn. Two hundred. That nine ten of diamonds would have started to get cuter. And Dan Ross just keeps on firing. Maybe he thinks Wheel would have bet all his strong hands on the flop. Wheel! Wheel. Wow. What the heck? Wheel's holding on. And he checks in the dark. And oh. Dan Ross gets there Isn't with it the just queen. the way? By the way, Ken. Did you see like Ken sits back because he would have made the yeah. flush? Yeah. Yep. Danny says Queen Jack is good. He's pretty close. Yeah. Queen yeah. yeah. And the molecule <laughs> atomizes Wheel. That is that. Look at Wheel. Just shake his head. Yeah, that's a tough one, Wheel. That's a really tough one. It certainly is. Ken's like, if I just call that $100 on the flop, I'm always calling the turn. <laughs> I get there on the river. Good read, The Jay. pain. <laughs> oh, well. It wouldn't have been a big pot. No. But, you know, bigger than zero. Money is money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Also, I don't think uh, any bets going on the turn if Ken calls also. Probably not. It well, would, maybe wheel then folds, actually. So maybe, maybe so. I don't know, Dan. The molecule is curving towards oh. infinity, so he might have bet the turn. <laughs> Yes. Yes, he is. That's a good, uh, like, line in a Yates poem. Right, of course. Curving towards infinity. It's my it's my new I'm line. obviously referring it's to the second coming. Of course. Slouching towards Bethlehem. Yes. It's my new line for when somebody's just, like, having a really tough time in a cash game <laughs> and keeps putting a lot of money in. <laughs> Curving towards it's, infinity. It's pretty great. I don't really know what it means. I guess you could do something off the S curve with it, right? Yeah, yeah. But it's, it's pretty great. It's, it's a little bit based on that. I don't really know what it means either. It just sounds right. Danny is thinking. Oh, he's got the four deuce well, again. Well, here we go. Cremio has already three bet, and it looks like he's going to once again feel the pain. <laughs> you can't have four deuce every time, can he? Here he comes. Can. Oh, <laughs> he my can. God. Cremio <laughs> every Cremio's time. Little, <laughs> Cremio's trying to hold it in, but he's like, this fucking guy. <laughs> he's like, I keep three betting with these hands I can't call four bets with. And really shouldn't, don't even have to be three bets. And I keep getting These are punished. hands that people don't three bet with a lot of the time for, yeah. for this exact reason. Oh, well, they also, they're trying to set mine of course, and stuff. Of course. And this is pretty much trying to play, you know, different. Yeah. And it may work, but Danny is really, uh, you know, like Danny's folding some of those hands, but not four deuces. Nope. He's never, as we see, he made it $950 with the four <laughs> bet with four deuces. And I suppose he probably wasn't folding to a shove either based on stack size. It was only a thousand more. He was probably going to have to call. Yeah. yeah. I think we've seen Danny call with yeah. horrible hands before yeah. for a lot of money. I'm sure he's calling. Of course, eights would have been in pretty good shape against that four deuce. But what are you going to do? Green Mike with over 10K in his stack and open with ace four of clubs. Cremio with a more likely three betting hand by most players than the hands he has been three betting. Yes. Does call. But it's a perfectly fine call. Of course. He's like, oh, thank God. Danny's out. <laughs> we don't have to put any more money in pre-flop. <laughs> I was going to have to four bet this time. <laughs> 
beautiful overhead shot. It really is nice. Two clubs for Korean Mike. That is the way it's been going. Look at Kareem here. Just looks like he's he's really displeased. Yeah, he looks quite displeased. Looks like a guy in a hospital who's unhappy. Right. <laughs> not like a not like a happy guy who's dying. <laughs> <laughs> like one of those one of those other people. Yeah, you yeah. Know, yeah. Check out Danny's V pip. That is, you know, for him that's not even that big. He likes to V pip. Forty four, forty five percent is a very high V pip. Of course, it but is a short handed game, especially since we lost K six. It's six handed, so it's a little bit more towards normal than it would be in a nine handed game. Of yeah. course. True that. Dynamic. He's got another four. I mean, this is a reasonable open. Of course it is. Yeah. It's one of those reasonable opens that you never want to actually see a flop with. Mike looks like he's con contemplating a three bet here. <laughs> he's got the seven six of hearts. It's an interesting hand to do it with. Danny might not be the right guy to three bet these types of hands with. Well, guess what? Guess what? It's happening anyway. He's like, I wonder if he has a plan about what he's going to do if he gets four bet. Not that I think Danny's four betting this hand, but. And Danny, see, this is why you don't want to three bet Danny out of position with this type right. of hand because he's gonna call. Well, this way you're uncapped. That's what you have going for you. Uh, the yeah, it, there's, there's a, a seven and a six. Well, that's the way it's been going. There is backdoor nut, nut yeah. spades for Danny. If it's cheap enough, Danny's calling this flop for sure. And I expect it to be pretty cheap. It's a dynamic board. Mike might size it up a little bit, despite yeah, like it being one, a three bet. One sixty kind of a thing. Yeah, I think Danny's calling in position one sixty with the ace of spades. I think you're right. They're deep, too. Oh, just, just off, 100. For sure he's calling this, right? Easy right. call for Danny He's here. like, I do have the ace of spades. What a joy. Danny gets to play more poker. Two back doors, including the good one? The, Piece of the, cake. The four is not a good back door, but yeah. No, no, no. The ace of spades is the good one. No. <laughs> okay. Oh, hey, that's, well, that's a bad gonna, card for Danny. <laughs> it, it gives him some outs. It does. At least he's not drawing dead on the turn. No, it's true. It's true. But there's a lot of cards where he can just fold the turn and... And of course, I mean, 17%. You now, think Mike, how do you approach this? Because Danny's going to raise a lot of draws against you now. If he has jack eight, he might raise now. Are you willing to hold on? I think we probably have to hold on against Danny. 415. That's that is nearly a, a pot size bet. Big bet. But Danny's not the type of guy to fold top pair on this turn. He just isn't. The ace of spades has now become a bad card for Danny to hold. Well, what it does, though, is it gives him maybe some bluff opportunities on certain on spade rivers. You would hope to be ahead when you hit your ace, It's though. true. He might just be checking back. And there is That's a death a card. A complete card. death card. Is Danny's hand good enough that this can go check, check? I think it is. Because Mike could have a pair between the 10 and the ace? Yeah. And Mike does check. Danny might think yeah. that he's no good, but... He just checks it back and gets the bad news. Mike is very happy to win this pop for sure. Yeah. Mike might have been calling anyway. Danny has to have a nine, basically, to fire or diamonds. Not super likely. I think he's probably calling, but there's but lots of ways Danny could fire more than pot. Early oh, on in the yes. session, before Mike was crushing, Danny, Danny pulled off a massive bluff against Mike, and Dan it worked. Danny down 5,500, though. Dan Ross, not too far behind. Those guys are basically all of Mike's profit right there. Almost yeah. exactly. In fact, those numbers line up exactly. 9.3. Yeah. Both directions. That's not exactly what has happened, but it's interesting yeah. that it lines up that way. Of course, those numbers don't add up to zero because K6 is no longer with us. He took some loss as well. Don't get on us about the math. Ken's got the sailboats. See, Danny's going to play this, and most players would be like, is he tilting? Nope, it's just Danny time. Danny's just playing this hand. There are two cards that are pretty close together. When you're the dynamic. You are the dynamic. Right. Thank you. Looks like a call out of Karimio this time. And Dan is going to see a flop with the five deuce. Diamonds would get Dan that much closer to infinity that There's much quicker. <laughs> There's one diamond. Oh. Only one. Only one. Yep. No three for anybody. No nine for anybody. Four is his best hand. Currently. And Ken is going to continue. Reasonable. Yep. Pretty board. much the only way you're ever going to win this hand is continuing now. Yep. 
Agreed. And Cremio is not folding. He does have two back doors, yep. but the board is paired. Got to be a little careful here. Let's see if he... Oh, Ooh, he, he turns there. Turns some gold. That's called alchemy, bro. Ken checks back in. Without a heart coming on the road, that's a heart, though. No way to get any more money out of Ken. He's going to try, looks like. He imagines it's Ken would have... interesting bet. He, I think he imagines Ken would have bet hearts on the turn. Yeah, but what can you get called from, I say, as Ken calls? Yep. <laughs> what a deal. What a deal. Ken does him. have a heart in his hand, at least. It's yeah. hard to come up with a hand you can beat, though. If you have, you know, when hearts come in. Yep, it really is. But Ken's just not willing to throw away hands that have any value. And, and yeah. In the past, that's really worked well for him. It has worked incredibly well. Cremio got, got pretty thin value there, though, on that board. He did. He did. I guess when it checks back, yeah. he just thinks like, like you said, also, you're going you're gonna to check call with your 10 anyway, right? You're not folding with your 10, I don't think, unless Ken's size is huge. I mean, if huge. he goes pot or bigger, you Right, consider. but you bet a certain amount. If he raises, you fold. Yeah. And this way you can get value when he calls. And that worked out really well for Cremio. That's a nice bet against that opponent. He may destroy worlds, but whose world? Not Cremio's this time. Nope. This time, not Cremio's. So not Earth. Because... Cremio lives on Have Earth. you actually been to Cremio's house? No. So how do you know what planet he lives on? I have. I made a guess. All right. Well, I, I'm asserting. That's that's, I'm called, asserting that's it. called profiling, and I don't appreciate Dan it. Dan Ross calling with the A7 off from the small blind is a surprising call. I that's called say. curving towards infinity. That's what he's it doing. Feels like it's curving towards infinity once again. Cremio has outflopped him. I mean, it's quite a flop for Queen Nine, isn't it? It is. And Dan Ross says my hand's a little too good just to throw it away. Ace of Diamonds as well. Yep. That, that deuce is not helping anyone. I guess Dan Ross picks up an extra out. Another deuce will will make him the nuts. So he's got that, that going. That for is him. true. Cremio bets again. And is that big? Is it two twenty five? Wow, bets more than pot. So now Dan is thinking Cremio has to have either a nine or an over pair for value or a deuce, and he's not going to bet an ace. So I'm actually ahead of a lot of his range. But wow. And the four of diamonds shouldn't change anything. Cremio is not going to bet a flush at this point. No way. And Dan can't even use his ace as a bluffer. And there's another bet. How much is that? $500, boy. Are we just going to see some serious left turns into <laughs> oblivion here? <laughs> Feels like it. We called the turn. That card is pretty good. Oh, he's reaching. Oh, man. Don't do it. You got the ace of diamonds, but the flush doesn't matter. I mean, you could just put Cremio on any two Broadway cards. Cremio has a lot of checkbacks on the turn when he gets called on the flop, though, doesn't he? You would think. Figures he's never folding out a nine. Yep. And that's what you put Dan on, right? A nine or a pocket pair. It's amazing by the... Yeah, pocket pair must be what Cremio's thinking. He's like, you got two sixes, right? And you're just going to feel like you have to call sometimes? This is Cremio just getting huge value these last two hands. Assuming huge Dan value. calls. He, well, he got value on flop and turn. Yeah. He's already gotten value. There's one, there's, there was $600 in that pot on the uh, coming into the street. Well, you know, nobody's actually ever seen Infinity, but... <laughs> Dan, Dan Ross may, may <laughs> soon. <Yeah. laughs> he's going to be embedded. He's reaching. Oh, he's making oh, it. Oh, my goodness. What value for Karimia. My goodness. What pain for the molecule. That is wild. You guys must feel bad. Yeah, it gets worse. have returned to the <laughs> Danny and Dan Ross funding everybody <laughs> show. I'm still really amazed by that uh, that hand.
don't know I, why. I, I, I don't even know what to do with myself. I, I'm really surprised. He's that just way. putting Cremio on two random cards. He thinks Cremio would have checked an ace back on the Turner River, and right. thinking that he opened the button, so he has fewer pairs in his range. So he just has to have a nine or one of those pairs, which are you know relatively random when when assigned to the range. If Cremio is going for three streets with Queen Jack and stuff, like he might also think Cremio is never betting. Oh, and look at this, Stan Ross has queens oh. on the straddle and nobody plays. Oh my just that gosh. Type of day. You think you think he also is sitting there thinking Cremio isn't even going to bet a nine for five hundred on the river because it's a chop too often, so he's instead it's only over pairs. The thing is, when Dan calls from the small blind, he just has all those medium pocket pairs. Right, Dan never has tens plus really. No, never, never. So it's basically a free roll. Yeah, yeah. Unless yeah, it's hard for Dan to have a deuce. He almost never. Pretty much one combo of ace deuce suited that he doesn't three bet. I guess he did have ace seven off. Maybe he has ace deuce off too. Maybe he could have three combos. Seems unlikely. He's more likely to throw ace deuce. Although I don't, I don't. I don't know how he even called with. Each of those Just calls was suspect all the way through, <laughs> except maybe the flop call. Yeah. Table to well, he paid the ultimate price. Yeah, and Danny's raising out of the small blind with the 4 3 off. It's not even one of his favorite hands. But it's, it's a step up. He's decided to upgrade. Danny time. And what's Two, Wheel going to do here? Wheel is going to Wheel's gonna put, put in the three. three. I good love for, it. Good for you, Wheel. Look at that. Wheel is not a guy you can just put in. I don't, I don't expect Danny to be freaking four betting Wheel. And this is, should get Ken out of the way. It has to. This should get through everyone. Whoa. Ken is Whoa. not folding. With ace 10 off. He's now, right this time. Is Danny going to just be seduced by pot odds? I yes. think he is. Yes, he is. Cool. He just doesn't like to fold no matter what. And this is not what you like when you have ace deuce as wheel. <laughs> and Danny's got 33% of the equity here. This is amazing. Ken with 47%. And there's, there's a, three. a three right in the window. It's not a great flop for 3-4, but it's better than it could be. Wheel flops the gutter. He should probably fire here, but does not. I mean, it's a 3-bet pot where he got called in two spots. I, I mean, understand not firing. Ken, Ken has is a gonna Wow. Ken has got a lot of strong hands here. He really sure. might just win this hand right now. Danny can Danny might call? Fold. call in. Danny can call. Danny raised. Wow. He moves in. Wow. This is... I mean, he has the best hand, but wow. Is he thinking of it as like a semi-bluff? Like he has outs when he, get, when he gets called a lot I of the time? I guess... I mean, Ken doesn't have queens very often, right? Ken must just be Hollywooding. There's yeah. There's no. I mean, there's four, no calling. Four six and deuce four are Danny's favorite hands. But so that whatever. is something to consider on this board. But whatever. Yeah. You gotta let it go. You have too many. You have too many better hands than Ace Ten here. Yep. Like we have jacks. We have like Ace Jack suited, right? Yeah. Clearly. Just, just another example <laughs> of Danny winning a hand that nobody else wins. In a million years. <laughs> like most people fold that pre for no money. Danny yeah. puts okay. 235 in pre and then wins at post. Brittany? Yep. Amazing. He may get a new nickname, the spectacle. He's already got a nickname. It's incredible to watch. He's already got a nickname. Yeah. The dynamic. But it may get a new nickname is what I said. The spectacle. This, it'd be cool to Why? call the spectacles, yeah, like oh, glasses. Because he doesn't have glasses. Yeah, because he doesn't have glasses. Right. That's, <laughs> it's that's classic humor. Classic. <laughs> Groucho on Mark shit right there. Yeah. Anyway, Danny's straddling the button. There's the 85. For 25, because the straddles are now 25, actually. So we're actually playing 5, 10, 25 oh. mostly. Dan Ross is going to call Korean Mike's raise. Ken's got a beauty on the, in the cutoff. He sure does. And He's that's a three bet. Wow. This game has loosened up. Danny with a hand. What's he going to do? I have no idea. In almost any game, whoever is in Danny's spot here is just folding this hand in this position with the three bet. I thought he might move in, honestly. I thought it was possible he was going to move in. Well, Korean Mike now forced to call. Yeah, the other stacks are kind of short, but yeah. there's... There's already a bunch of money in there. And Four ways. There's a little bit of reverse in blind odds with deuces as well. well a little bit, but... You flop a set, you you're, you're pretty happy. And Dan Ross no no longer wants to let us know what he has. No, nope, he's as he curves towards yeah he, the look, light. He's been told that his his cards are an unknown, and he tried to fix it but failed. That's all right. <coughs> Don't worry about it, Dan. We we know you're gonna lose the hand. <laughs> 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 all right, Queen five five doesn't help anyone. Not what you want to see when you're Ken. I mean, you have two back doors. I mean, Dan Ross absolutely can have a queen here. He can have a king queen, ace queen. Queen Jack suited type thing. Is Danny going to protect on the button? He is not. Feels like Ken's going to improve. He does. <laughs> it feels like Ken's that. It really did. He always does. It was times. cosmic, man. Well, Ken is at least in second place here. Let's see if Dan Ross decides to bet. Because if he does, that's going to be 
it's an interesting tough spot for. King he Elf. moves in. Whoa. Feels like king ten. It's about a pot size. Feels bet. like king ten suited. About a, about a pot size oh. shove. I guess it could be ace queen, but it feels like yeah. And he gets wow, called. We're gonna find out. He's getting looked up right away. Nope. We get to find out what Dan has. This oh. is great because I, I'm going with king ten suited. What do you think? I'm going king queen. Okay, the king <laughs> is blocked. <laughs> it's king oh, jack. Hand, oh, but, yeah. that's less exciting. He just moved in. Wow. wow. That's an interesting that's play. Awesome. That was interesting, and it didn't <laughs> really work. And a four on the river, Danny would have boated up. That's um. If you can't fold out King Jack there, I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> As it turns out, now you would think you could fold out King Jack. In fairness to Dan, think about it first. I, I guess the pot was pretty big, and he was just like, "I gotta win this pot." He needs a win. Well, you know, he at least got Danny out. Yep. So he gets to get half the pot instead of none of the pot. That's good. That's a positive, right? Sure. Isn't it? Yes. The answer is yes. If you need a yes, you got a yes. I feel like you're patronizing. Me. Well, when you ask to be patronized, that's <laughs> what happens. Mm. Interesting. That's you a theory I'm working Oprah on. Oprah says you teach people how to treat you. Does she say that? I don't know. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> that's a weird thing to say. Who's all planned after, after the defense? You're not. I mean, if you're Oprah. You're not. Right. I mean, just pay them. They'll treat you whatever you want. Whatever you want. You don't teach them anything. <laughs> just pay them. Right, but she's giving bullshit advice to people who are well below, her, well below her station yeah, in life that it doesn't apply to he's because she's I mean, she's a, of course she's right. Like, you yeah. train people how to, how, to, how to respond to you, obviously. Dan Ross is probably happy to get not have to play a hand, but who knows? Anyway, Danny's in with the eights. Cremio, don't three bet him. He's got the snowman. Looks like Wheel is once again. Uh, Wheel's been jazzing it up a little bit. Yeah, I can imagine Wheel with a saxophone and a jazz club. Oh, well, I think a smoky, oh, he just called. A smoky jazz club with some, some sunglasses on, even though it's really dark, <laughs> playing the saxophone? Come on. I mean, maybe. You can see that for sure. Maybe. It's not a high-end club. <laughs> no, but it's. But Wheel makes it feel high-end <laughs> with his presence. Yeah. So Wheel just calls with the ace five off on the button and flops top two. Wearing a zoot suit. Yeah. Very nice. These guys really don't have any uh, outs against me. There's one eight left. There's just not much running kings and one eight. Is that? Oh, I guess six seven. That's the only ways these guys can win even. So, Danny makes the call. He's gonna see what well, turn brings. He at least has a pair. No spades. Close, but no. It's gonna probably. Let's see if we even fires again. That nine of spades is not that great. It is not, but Danny did not bet the flop, so you wouldn't expect mm. him to have spades too often. That's as, true. As the pre-flop opener. And Danny is notoriously <laughs> sticky here. The problem is if you get raised, uh, what's your plan? Because Danny's going to have a lot of raises I mean, that a lot of players not, don't. Not, mm -hmm. Especially. It's uh, it's unclear to me what what we're all supposed to do here. Honestly, I can't look up like. I think you're supposed to just check it back and not make it so hard on yourself. That's probably what I would do. Let's see. Let's see if Danny. I don't think Danny's going to call when the nine of spades comes, right? <laughs> like, you can folding out a lot of hands that are worse than yeah. yours. Yeah, he lets it go. Show him the five only. Just the five. That shows him the ace and the five. We can play for exactly what a guy. Know what a saxophone player. Can't, can't you imagine he's saying the word daddy-o every <laughs> other sentence? I feel like I see Wheel more like at a kid's yeah. birthday party with one of those hats, yeah. a birthday party hat on, just sitting in the corner by himself. <laughs> I mean, he could be both. <laughs> Looking sad. <laughs> <laughs> that is a like, little bit like harsh. no one gave me any yeah. cake. I like the <laughs> cake, but yeah, I didn't That's get a little bit harsh, but he could also be both, couldn't he? Yeah, he could be both. He could be both. But will he be both? What's the difference of what? It's up to Wheel. Between it's only up to Wheel. Wheel, you have to make your own dreams oh, come true. You teach true. people how to treat you, Wheel. I mean, it beeps if my phone beeps. So that's about it. Well, how do you choose? Grimio has got the hand that Danny would always <laughs> take an aggressive action with, but he does not play that. Yeah. Dan Ross finally yeah. won half a pot, so he's feeling alive. <laughs> no, I want to be the <laughs> I want watches and rings. Gold, I Ken, Ken yep. calls the 85 with ace eight off. He's been loosening up as the game has, has gone he on. He has. He's obviously going to flop an ace. Cause it's so Ken, easy. Ken always does this. This is what Ken does. This is who Ken is. And bad news, Dan Ross. Two know. back doors for Dan Ross, at least. He's got the five of hearts. That's going to be his key card here. Is Ken raising? Oh, no, it's, it's 65. Okay. I thought Ken was just raising right away. Might have got called. Horrified. 
Nine of Hearts, no one really loves that, although Dan Ross, as it turns out, it's, a, it's an emergency outs. out for Dan Ross. And bingo, bango, bongo, it comes in. Dan Ross cannot get any value here, but at least he gets to win the pot. Yeah. Okay. Wheel does, or Ken makes two pair. Two pair. He would have been able to get value, I think, if he bet. Probably. But I don't know how you bet how the do you five bet? of hearts. How do you bet? I wouldn't bet the five of hearts, but Ken, I think, is calling there. He's not even in position. I think it's probably a check in position also, but. Yeah, I think it is. Come on, you know that saying. You say it over at the barista every day. <laughs> it's like your most common thing to say to them. But if you're going to look on the you hear Dan's laugh there. It's kind of like you could play the Joker with that laugh. Yeah, yeah. she's like, whoa, yeah. whoa, 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 whoa. Come on. Just the laugh. Meet, just right? the laugh. There's a lot to look at here. Just <laughs> you could play like a Joker henchman, maybe. <laughs> Come on. Don't we need a new Joker can, type? Not, not, not we need like a new a, actor to play the Joker. We, we need, need a guy who wears a backwards hat with <laughs> sunglasses on the front. Uh, <laughs> just play the Joker. Sorry about that. Premier with the straddle. Dan Ross out of there. What hands are is Danny folding? Not this one. No way. That's for sure. It's sort of connected. Queen six off. Fold. He probably finds a fold. Queen I believe six he off. folds queen six off. Yeah. Fold. Fold. Fuck. And That's a win. It's got to feel good. Danny plus forty dollars makes up for some of the losses. Some of the five k he's lost yeah. so far. You know, bit by bit. I mean, Danny's just been crushing this stream for oh months yeah. now. Yeah. Months of, of video time. So it was eventually going to happen that he would have a bad session with the way that he plays. It's just inevitable, despite his ability to wriggle out of situations. Oh, yeah. I, don't people can. I mean, he's playing high, super high variance yeah. and playing big pots as much as possible, basically. So you're going to have some things that really don't go your way in really big pots if you're Danny. But when a guy like that is winning all the time, it just feels like he can't lose. Yeah. You know, because he's, he's playing hands that other players won't play, winning with them. Making good decisions. You know, after the last session, so it's six episodes ago, well, poker time, him and Stuart both finished the session now. with about eight, th uh, eight and a half thousand in front of them. <laughs> and they kept playing after we stopped filming. And uh, two hands mm -hmm. later, you got aces versus kings. Stuart with the aces. And they got it all in on the flop. And Stuart won. Stuart held in one. As would have been the biggest pot in poker time history. Yes, but we it were not filming. It's very sad. Yeah. And we're sorry. Oh, shit. I'll peel you and you're not gonna stay and play? I will bet you red or back, black on the next spot for 2,000. No. Oh. I just wanna stay and play. So close. You got no gamble. No gamble, no future. Look, hi. Danny just offered to bet Dan Ross red or black on the next flop for 2K. Yeah, and I think it was a genuine offer. Oh, I'm sure it was a genuine offer. We should talk about a heads up format. Just bring him up anyway. <laughs> Is it David? <laughs> Premio wants to play the molecule heads up. Right. <laughs> he, sees, he sees blood in the water. <laughs> He's like, this guy called me with his high, right? When I had the. No, that didn't want to be on YouTube. And Aaron Jang was like, oh no, I have too much money because he had 4,200 at the one two game. Yeah. What's the format, Dan? What's a heads up format? What's your special? Oh, thing? whatever you want. You have to take a drink every 30 minutes. Yeah. What are you talking about heads Until up? Until somebody wakes up in a garbage can. Splash cut. Pull, pull, pull. You don't even realize you're getting pulled. Cool. Ken's got the queen six yeah, off. He's going to limp the button. Wow. Talk that about is a curving shocker. towards infinity. <laughs> that, is, that is a real underdog coming in. <laughs> Queen six limp in the button. Quickly, the and wheel dominating is going to check the big blind. Yeah, on, Ken's got him just where he wants him. Right. In his heart. Plus, we All right, they're good friends. Uh, there's a gut shot. For wheel. 50. Here comes your bet. Ken throws 50 at 50 it. 50 into 25 well, might just get the job done. It really might. Nope. Well, yep. Yeah. Yeah, wheel's like, what am I doing? We'll, it's not your fault. <laughs> you did fine. <laughs> you did fine. You could have led the flop, but you did fine. Yeah. It feels like a, a tilt play because he lost with the running hearts to, ah, to Dan. Perhaps is my guess. That whole hand. Perhaps that's the case. He's yes. like, why did I limp? Why am I betting twice the pot? What am I doing? I'm just doing things. I'm clicking buttons over here. It's a classic Ken quote. I'm just clicking buttons over here. As he types on his computer. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. 
as he's as he works at the button factory. Yeah, yeah. Where his job is to click them to make sure they make that satisfying click noise. Exactly. Danny. I love Danny. Always gonna look at one. Can Danny find yet another hand to fold? Nope. All right. It's too good. Oh my gosh, he, he just moves, moves in. in. He wants to gamble real real bad. Wheels faking it. Okay. Yeah. What do you call with? What's your calling range as Karimio? Um I'm definitely calling with two eights. Well, what about this hand? <laughs> if we know he moved in blind, we're calling. <laughs> but I think I think Danny did move in blind. I think that's what that was. You're supposed to call against the blind movement. Of, of course you are. If you can handle the swing, the financial swing of it, you're supposed to call, right? If you're playing the game, you should be able to handle the financial swing, but not everyone can. I mean, it's it'd be a four thousand dollar pot, but what's Danny thinking? This is more curving towards infinity than anything Dan Ross has done. <laughs> this one's fully up to you. I don't care either way. Yeah, I mean, you always win these. <laughs> but that's not math, is it? You want to run two rivers? How's that sound? Just two rivers or two whole boards? Let's, let's run two turns in rivers. And All run right. one, one flop, two turns in rivers? Yeah. Okay, whatever. cool. I call. That's the only Super one weird, but Carrillo yeah. does call with the ace eight, and they're gonna run yeah, just two turns on river. I don't understand why. As if they got it in after the flop. <laughs> yeah, why? Why that as opposed to two whole <laughs> boards? It's one confusing flop. to me, but okay. So somebody could lock it up for both down. boards right away, I guess. I don't know. Sixty-four thirty-six. Okay, two times. Flop. Sort of. Yeah, you could like this. Oh, straight draw. Door. That's good. For you you got a straight draw. That's I got a pair. So, first turn. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and then turn. first no, turn. We should have done two full boards. I don't know what I was thinking about. Uh, no, that's so first no, no, for that's a river. That's, that's a river. A river. Uh, Danny, I don't give a shit. If you want to run a no, no, second board, go ahead, buddy. Whatever you want to do. Okay. Literally, I don't care either way. No, you said. You, you, what do you choose right now? If you want to run turn river, you want to run the whole board. I don't care. Let's do two boards. Cool. Run the whole board. I don't care, buddy. What an I'm offer by Karimio. He's letting Danny run the whole board <laughs> again. That's, <laughs> he's giving up a ton of equity. I don't understand why you would make that call, put yourself at risk, and then do that. You've That's already shocking to me. He flopped an eight, making his four effectively dead. Also, and now a four is going to win it for Danny. Danny only has two outs, you know, two cards to come now instead of five to beat you. You're really helping Danny out here. I mean, maybe he's just feeling generous, and there's, there's a, ten. a ten. Now, maybe that ten was going to come on the river anyway. No, with the burns, it probably wasn't, actually. Well, it's an ace or nothing, and they chop it. I don't think it would have been a chop, Grant. I think you're probably right. I think it would not have been a chop. No, wow. I don't, I don't, I don't think Cremio was trying to, yeah. to like play optimal equity game there. He was just trying to be friendly and like yeah. uh, we're all in for too much money for the situation type thing. I think you're right, but he's the one who had to call it off. You That's know what true. I mean? He did have to make the call. You have to risk the money. So to risk it and then basically give back all That's that equity is really surprising to me. <laughs> When you're the one calling it off. Yeah. You know, Danny gets the fold equity at least too. Danny's like having fun with it. You're the one who's just got the burden of do I make this call or not? You have to make sort of the tough call with Ace-8 yeah. and then give up all that equity anyway. That's really surprising to me. Not something you're going to catch me doing very often. I would guess not. But, uh, you know, Kareem Mio's built differently. You just got a, you a you don't want shirt of a bookstore. He's a gentle <laughs> human. <laughs> yeah. like you. You're you're a, a shark <laughs> with your expected yeah. value situations. It's true. It's true. He just wants to read. What man. a surprising decision, though. Uh, really generous, for sure. A lot of precedent set tonight. Holds. It's going to get Holds. greasy now. We're going to have a rule book next time. Yeah. We're going to have the actual rules yeah. Unprecedented. Oh. Uh, wheel with the button lamp. I guess I should just Seven. never fold the cutoff. So wheel Wheel's going to limp the button. <laughs> Mike is not having it. Karimio's got the same hand he had last time. Well, you know what to do. Put $2,000 in. He's going to call. He could definitely three bet. Well, yes. I don't know if I've ever seen Mike enter a pot without raising. He's he's not into even over limping, so he, he has a relatively wider range than most players. He doesn't call that many bets no either, any, any raises. Yep, yeah. and look yeah. at that, yeah. three tens. Imagine 
that flop and then runs also, the turn and river. <laughs> very aggressive post flop. Yep. Usually bets twice. He's tight aggressive. Yep. Yeah, when he plays, he plays those hands hard. And sometimes it does not work out, but today, holy smokes. He's got $11,000 in front of him. There is a full house for Carino. He will not be folding. I expect Mike will I mean, take another shot ball. when the ace comes specifically, right? Yeah, Carino has a lot of pocket pairs in his range. Yep. You got to take a shot. Got 200 here and shut down. Yes, because you're drawing dead against an ace. Unless a 10 comes. Here's the 175. Carimio is like, well, we're chopping a lot here, but I'm obviously never folding. It's just a uh, sick cooler if Mike ends up with a 10 here. Yep. So be it. <laughs> and I think Mike's probably done with the hand. I would be done with the hand. If Mike, if Mike rivers a king, it'll be interesting. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Either way, it's a chop. From the guy who's way ahead at that point. Yeah. King was nice about it. So Mike misses. I can't imagine him firing again, though. It would be a shock. Cremio essentially always has a 10 or an ace here, and he's probably folding neither. Maybe you get an ace to fold once in a while with insane sizing, but it's this is the right move to check here. This is It's time to give up. And to fold when, when Cremio bets. Cremio should go for value, but probably recognizes that even if Mike has queens, it's hard for him to call. He should might he call. bet like 150 maybe? Yeah, something like that, 200, maybe 225, but small as, small as baller. Smaller is baller. Small ball. But he does not. He goes big instead. Oh, he bows over pot. Now he's, he's trying to make it look like... I don't know what he's trying to make it look like. There's, on the there's no missed draws. Yeah. And that's going to do it for this session. We're going to take a look at how the players yeah, did let's see. in a second before we let you Here go. Here we go. Free Mike, the big winner. That is, that is one of the biggest wins in Poker Time history. Congratulations. Congratulations.